This is an RTV6 update working for you. Hello, I'm Amanda Starantino, and these are your latest headlines from the RTV6 newsroom. A federal judge has dismissed the civil suit filed by four women against Indiana Attorney General Curtis Hill. The woman accused Hill of sexual harassment during a 2018 party and gender discrimination. The judge described Hill's alleged conduct as disgraceful and reprehensible, but said it does not meet the legal standard of a federal law violation. All claims were dismissed. A lawyer representing the women says they are weighing their next steps and feel confident their voices will be heard. The Indiana Supreme Court is expected to decide what, if any, punishment Hill will face over the accusation against him. And a part of Indiana hit especially hard by the opioid epidemic received life-saving supplies today. A group called Overdose Lifeline and the Anthem Foundation donated more than 200 overdose reversal kits to first responders in Morgan County. Law enforcement agencies there had run out of funding to buy their own kits. The groups also held a training event for first responders on how to administer naloxone, also known as Narcan. Morgan County ranks in the top 20 counties with Indiana's highest rates of overdose deaths. March off to a very warm start, as you know, 62 on Sunday and even some overnight thunderstorms, potentially southern third of the state, some gusty winds and rumbles of thunder as well as heavy rainfall. This quickly, though, will push out of the state, not have much of an impact on our Tuesday. We'll dry out, may actually get a little bit of sunshine as we go through. Here's another look at that same band of showers and thunderstorms that will exit to the east. What will enter? Temperatures in the 50s for three days in a row. Friday cooler, so is Saturday, but both days dry. Then we're right back into the 50s on Sunday and Monday. For more weather and stories you need to know, download the RTV6 mobile app. Thanks for joining us.